Hi folks, let's look at another two ball question. Um, it's two stones question. Um, let's cut the chase. Now, here it says stone A is projected vertical upwards at a speed of 12 meters per second. If you look at this diagram here, here's a stone A is projected upwards at a speed of 12 meters per second from a height h we're not given the height so this height that is in its h so um, above the ground ignore the effect of air resistance guys another thing that you need to understand what's going to happen to a it's going to go up and reach the maximum height and then it goes down right that's what is important to understand now let's look at the question 3.1 it says calculate the time taken for um, time taken for the stone a to reach the maximum height so we want the stone the time the stone a takes to reach the maximum height there very important 3.1 what are the things you have for stone a um, another thing that is important is to choose the direction choose up as positive then we have the initial velocity is positive which is the 12 meters per second and what else do we have we have the final velocity at the maximum height is zero and then our acceleration it's negative 9.8 meter per second square and the displacement there it's going to be unknown and it's positive as well okay which formula we're we going to use for that we're going to use the formula that says vf v initial plus a t why are we using that formula we're using that formula because the final velocity we have initial we have acceleration we have we're looking for time and then um, we substitute initial is zero um, the final is zero sorry the initial is positive 12 and the acceleration is negative 9.8 change in t then negative 12 we'll take the 12 to that side um, equal to negative 9.8 change in t and then so we divide by negative 9.8 so the time it took stone a to reach the maximum height it's going to be it's going to be when you punch that in the calculator it's 12 divided by 9.8 it's going to be 1.22 seconds so this is the time from there to there 9.22 seconds right now let's read the, the statement below 3.1 what am i doing the statement below 3.1 it says at the same instant that stone a is projected upwards stone b is thrown vertically downwards at the same height um, at an unknown speed v right uh, refers to the diagram below so this uh, happened simultaneously when stone a was thrown vertically upwards and stone b was thrown vertically downwards with an initial velocity which is v since we're given the initial velocity of a and the initial velocity of b is what is v now as we know guys as the stone b goes down its velocity increases but it increases where in the negative direction because we chose up as positive right keep that in mind it's very important now it says here in the bottom statement when the stone a reaches its maximum height stone b um, is the speed of stone b is 3 v right guys um, these stones were thrown simultaneously so when stone a reaches that point and then probably stone b will be somewhere there so they say its velocity there which is going to be the final at this point now let's draw stone B and stone A is there. This is A. Stone B is there. So the final velocity now, it's what? It's 3V. And remember, the final velocity now, it's 
negative because it's a negative direction. Remember, downward is negative um, and upwards is positive. So even the initial velocity there, it's negative V. So it says when stone A reaches its maximum height there, the stone B, its final velocity, it's 3V, but they didn't say it's the final velocity. They say that the velocity is 3V, which is three times than this one. The initial it was just V, now it's 3V. That means it's three times. Now 3.2, the question, it says calculate the speed V with which the stone B is thrown vertically upwards. Downwards, sorry. So we wanted the the initial velocity there. So what are we going to do there? What are we going to do? What is important, guys, there? Before, what is the, th what is the thing that can help us there? When stone B reaches its maximum height, it took 1,22 seconds, right? When it reaches its maximum height. Now, it says the question now, when stone A reaches its maximum height, stone B is 3V. Now, it says calculate the speed V when the stone B is thrown vertically upwards, right? So, what are we going to do now? We're going to calculate the V, but what are we going to use? We're going to use stone what? Stone B. All right, guys, this is what I wanted to say, but I forgot now. The stone A, when it gets to the maximum height, it took what? 1,22 seconds. As well as stone B, when it gets to the point where it is, when its velocity is 3V, it took the same time. Remember, these were thrown at the same time, so both they have same time. So, um, let's calculate. Let's calculate. So, this is 3.2. 3.2, we're going to use a stone B. How are we going to use stone B? Because this velocity V is the velocity of stone B. Now, what do we have for stone B? For stone B, we have the initial velocity that is negative V. Remember, it's going downwards and downward is negative. And we have the final velocity, which is what? Negative 3V. Right? And then, what else do we have? We have the time. Remember, the time for A to reach the maximum height is the same time for B to get where it is and to get the velocity that is three times and the displacement do we have the displacement no we do not have the displacement so um, we do not have the displacement and the acceleration we have it's it's the acceleration is negative as we mentioned the it's negative which shows up as positive so which formula are we going to use we're going to use the formula that says VF is equal to V initial plus AT, right? The VF is what? Is negative 3V. The velocity is negative. And the initial velocity is negative V plus the acceleration is negative 9.8 change in T. So the change in T, we have the time there. It's 1,22 seconds. 1,22 seconds. So when we transpose that to that side, we're going to have 3V plus V is equal to this. Um, it's going to be negative 11,96. And then we divide by, um, okay, this side we're going to have negative 2V. So um, 11,96 divided by negative 2 divided by negative 2. And then your V, your V is going to be 5,99 meter per second. So the initial velocity in which stone B it was thrown by, it's what? It's 5,99. But remember the 5,99 guys, which is the velocity it was, it was thrown by, it's negative 5,99. But our answer came out positive because we already inserted the negatives there. Hope that makes sense, guys. Now, let's go to the next question, which is 3.4. At, at the instant stone A passes its initial position on its way down, stone B hits the ground. Okay? What are they saying now? They say when stone A passes, when it passes here, the starting point, which is now, 
Um, when it passes the starting point, stone B reaches the ground. So what does it mean? That means the time that stone A took to passes the starting point is the same time that B took to reach the ground. So how can we get, how are we going to get to the time here? How are we get, okay guys, the question, it says calculate the height, right? The height of the, the height of the building. So what is going to help us to calculate the height of the building? It's B, right? Because B, we have, um, B, the height of the building is going to be its displacement. So if I can calculate the displacement of B when it reaches the ground, that means it's the height of the building. So what is going to help me? It's the time of A. Because when A gets here, on the initial position, B reaches the ground. So we already calculated the time for A to the, so which is, this side is symmetrical to this side. So if this side is 1,22, this one, and this side is 1,22, right? So this is 3.3. .3. We want the height. 3.3. .3. So what do, you, what do we want? We want the height and um, the acceleration we have. It's negative 9.8. This, this is for... This is for, okay, let me write it here. Let me just write it here. What am I doing? This is for stone B. For stone B. And then what is the initial velocity for stone B? Now we already have, it's negative 5,99 meter per second. And the final velocity for stone B, it's going to be three times Remember, we said it's 3V, so it's going to be um, 3 times 5.99, right? 3 times 5.99, let me punch it in the calculator, 3 times 5.99, what is it? Um, where's my calculator? Okay, 3 times 5.99, so it's 17, comma. 97 meter per second but it's negative we substitute the negative there because it's going downwards and what else do we have we have the time the time for stone b um, for stone b from here till the ground is the same time that it took which is it's going to be two times this side because remember i said this from here to here is 1,22 and then from here to here is 1,22 so um, the time for B, the time for B, it's going to be 1,22 times 2, which is the 1,22 times 2, it's going to be, it's going to be 2,44 seconds. That's the time. So, when we talk about the height, guys, we're talking about the displacement for B. Right, which equation are we going to use there? We're going to use the equation that says dy is equal to vi, change in t, plus half a t square. Why are we using that? Because we want this, the height, which is the displacement, and then the initial velocity we have, the time we have, acceleration we have, the time we have. So let's substitute. So the displacement is the height, and the initial velocity there is negative 5,99. It's negative the velocity because it's going down. And the time, it's 2,44. And plus the acceleration, it's negative 9.8. And then the time, it's 2,44. And then we square. That's very important. So if you punch that, everything in the calculator... If you punch everything in the calculator, so the height of the building, it's going to be 43,76 meters. So, the height of this building, it's 43,76, which is the displacement that B um, have when it reaches the ground. Right? Now, let's go to 3.4. 3.4, it's the, it's the drawing. It says sketch, sketch the velocity time graph 
for the complete motion of stone A and stone B uh, at the same on the same set of axes. Label your graph stone A and stone B. Right? Okay. Um, the last question, which is 3.4. 3.4. Let's draw the graph, the velocity time graph. 3.4. The velocity time graph is going to be something like that. We have A. Um, this is going to be time. And this is going to be velocity meters per second. It's very important to label your axis. I'm going to use the red color to to draw for to draw for 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 for, for stone A. Let's look at stone A. The stone A, what is the motion of stone A? So the motion of stone A is going like this, right? The motion of stone A is going like that. So it starts with the 12 and ends with the 12 there and with the final velocity that we do not know. So let's see what they wanted us to show. It says time taken for stone A to reach the maximum height. Okay, for stone A we want just time it took to reach the maximum height so the stone a for stone a it's going to be like that um, it's going to be like that the graph just hope you understand guys this is going to be 12 and and as it goes up to the maximum height it decreases 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 to zero and then it goes back in the negative direction and gets to 12 there so it's this is going to be what um, okay let me make it a little bit uh, this is negative 12 right and this graph and then they wanted the time for the maximum height which is it's 1 comma 2 2 right and the time it took um, to return in its starting point it's 2 comma 4 4 now this graph it's for what stone a right it's a graph for stone A. Now let's draw the graph for stone B. Now let's go back and see what stone B does there. The stone B, it's going in the negative direction. That means we're going to draw it below the x-axis. And what is the velocity doing there? The velocity increases. So what do they say about stone B? The velocity at which stone B is thrown downwards. So the velocity here at which it was thrown downwards, it's V. And then we calculated V. V is 5,99. So the 5,99, where is it? Here. The 5,99. Let me use the green one. The 5,99 is going to be there. And then the 5,99 is what? It's negative. And then what's happening to the velocity? It's decreasing. It's increasing the velocity. And the time is going to end at the same time there. Because it took this time for ball B to return to the initial position. While it returned to the initial position, the stone B, it was reaching the ground at the same time. So this is what is stone B. That's it, guys. I hope you understand.